What's that guy writing? Math by fives. Oh, I love this guy's videos. Yeah. Whoa. He was writing upside down. Oh, now he's going to attempt to solve that differential equation. Sure. In an earlier example, we see that the solution to that differential equation was represented by that nasty answer. Oh, wait, wait, this isn't the separable kind. No way. It's a different one. He's considering one just like it. What's different about it? It's got a translation in it, a linear translation. Oh, man. He wants to check to see if that's homogeneous. Right. So he's assuming the right side of that differential is a two-variable function. Right, right, because he's going to check to see whether or not it's homogeneous type, right? Whether or not there exists a, a g of y that represents that f of x, y. And he's going to do it by making this um, mapping, if you will, right from a two-dimensional space down into a one-dimensional space. He wants to see if this mapping here is going to produce the same function, right? Ah, here's the map. He uses 1 over y, 1 comma y over x, and he wants to see whether or not that that's the original function. If it is, then it's homogeneous, well, at least homogeneous type, for a specific um, substitution, right? And that's how he got the answer to the um, solution that he had presented up top. So now he plugs it in, right? Everywhere he sees an x, he puts a 1. Everywhere he sees a y, he puts a y over x. Why is he doing this? He wants to see if it comes out to be the original. Ooh, additive inverses. Nice move. Um, all right, looks like 6. Sure. Ooh. M multiplies top and bottom by x to get rid of those denominators. Ah, that's not the original function. So this isn't homogeneous. I wonder what he's going to do to make it homogeneous. He's probably going to perform a lin linear transformation. How's he going to do that? Well, he wants to move the axes to the point of intersection of that numerator and that denominator, or the change in x and the change in y. Because if he does that, then his differential will still be the same. So he rewrites his function. And he wants to see where the numerator is the same as the denominator so that he can move his axes. So he's busting a system. Man, I remember those videos. Right, he made a whole collection on systems for um, two equations and two unknowns. Ah, OK. So he's putting it in standard form. Well, semi-standard form. Apparently, he likes his y's before his x's. He's using elimination. Oh. Why? So that he can get y. It looks like he's going to find that y is 3. Awesome. He's going to use that in a minute, I think. Now he backsubs it into his second equation. Sure. So he's doing it. He's doing it. He's doing it. Everything he does is big. Um, oh. He's got his x now, too. Oh. That means the solution to that system is minus 2, minus 3. What's he doing now? Now he's making his transformations. Oh. He set it equal to 0 and then called that his new y. Why? Because he's translating the origin. Right. He's moving it. He's moving it 3 and 2. Sure. So now he's making his substitutions. Um, looks like y is going to be big Y minus 3, and x is going to be big X minus 2. Yeah, he's really struggling on making those capital X's and capital Y's. All right, so take those guys and transform that non-homogeneous. Can you move the camera, please? Please? Oh, thank you. OK, right. Um, so now he is transforming that differential. Which differential? The original one, right? So it looks like he's putting the original one on there. Go, guy. 
go, 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 go. So your original differential equation, which was not separable by usual methods, he's taking that and he is um, going to use those translations that he just made, right? How did he get those? He found out where the original one had a solution, when I say original one, numerator and denominator, that function on top and that function on the bottom, because they were different than a constant, different by a constant. He was able to translate them. Ah, uh, yes. And then my differential is going to be the same at that new translation as it was at the original one. All right. So now everywhere he sees a y, he puts a y minus 3. Mm -hmm. And everywhere he sees an x, he puts an x minus 2. And he uses parentheses. Right. Right. OK. Everywhere he sees a y, he puts a y minus 3. All right, I like this. I like this. Everywhere he sees an x, he puts an x minus 2. Cap x. Right. And hey, wait, wait. When you clean that up in the numerator, I see 3 plus minus 3 plus 3, making no 3, additive inverses. And in the denominator, I see minus 5 plus 5, making additive inverses. So after the dust settles, what does he have left? Oh, right. That differential equation that he did know the solution for. Right. All right. What's he going to do now? Oh, he's matching it up to the original. Well, that was the solution to that one. So the solution to this one's going to be the same. All right. So go ahead. Plug it in. Write that solution, please. Ah, the solution to that differential equation was the natural log of the square root of um, cap y squared plus cap x squared plus the tangent inverse of cap y over cap x. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Go, 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 go. And that was equal to a constant. Right. I think he solved it in a different video. Yeah. Oh, that video was good, too. I remember it slightly. Um, all right. Ah, but remember now, this differential equations was originally in y and x. But what was cap y? Uh, looks like he lost his paper. Oh, well, just make it up, dude. y plus 3, that's right, that's right, that's right. Because that's what he originally said equal to 0, and that's how we found his y. And then his x was little x plus 2. Sure. So now he's going to make that substitution, and he's probably going to leave it like that, because that looks like it's going to be in the nicest form it could possibly be in. Na, 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 na. So now he's back substituting. He's putting it all back in there. Tangent inverse of, look at that. So he was able to solve that differential equation even though it wasn't separable, even though it wasn't homogeneous. He made it homogeneous, then separated it, and he already had a solution. No flower?